Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn some custom environment variables and some default environment variables. So let's start. So as you can see, uh, this is our repository with the name sample workflow. And now here, as I told you, we are going to learn some custom environment variables and some default environment variables. So first of all, let's take an example of custom environment variables. So firstly, here, I'm going to create a new workflow for my custom environment variable. So let's create, and my workflow name will be custom env.yaml. Okay. Then here, we need to run our, or enter, first of all, we need to enter a name. So my name will be custom, environment variables okay. then on on push then next is here yeah i'm going to add env tag to create a custom environment variable and i'm going to create subscribe environment variable and in subscribe i'm going to add subscribe what Okay, then next is uh, job, oh, sorry, job step. Then in job, I'm going to enter a name my job, subscribe my channel. Okay, then colon. Okay, then next is run son. So here is our server name, Ubuntu latest. Then after that, here, I'm going to create one more environment variable and my variable name will be light and in light, I'm going to add please like share. Okay. Then after that, next is steps. So in steps, First of all, name tag. So my name will be that uh, I want uh, here. I'm going to add name that I want to print the sentence. So my sentence is like that. Please like, share, and subscribe our DevOps and channel and full stop okay i want to print the sentence like that then here i'm going to add run tag okay so now the echo and then code okay so please like share in this my like environment variable so that's why i'm going to copy and paste here you before paste i'm going to enter dollar and then like okay then i'm going to add and after that, that subscribe in my this subscribe environment variable. So I'm going to copy the variable, paste here, and then our. Okay. Now, DevOps send. So here, there is no any environment variable for DevOps send. So for that, I'm going to create environment, one more environment variable in this step. And the name is. Channel name DevOps. Okay. So I'm going to use this environment variable here. Dollar channel name. Okay. So this step will be print the sentence like that. Please like, share, and subscribe our DevOps in channel. Okay. So let's understand the workflow first. So as you can see here, first of all name, then on tag. Then here I'm going to I'm use the, using environment variable subscribe. Okay. So this environment variable is available available for all jobs in this workflow. Then next is here. This environment variable is available for only for this 
jobs and this environment variable is available for only this particular step okay that's why here i'm using three environment variable okay this environment variable is available for all jobs in this workflow this environment variable is available for this particular job and this environment variable is available for only this step okay okay so save the file and let's push the code so open a new terminal enter command git init then git add dot then git commit hyphen m and in double quote enter your commit so my commit will be custom env variables then git push okay it's done so let's go to the actions so there is error so let's check what happened in jobs Jobs, then subscribe my channel. Steps. Oops, here J is caps, so we need to small or replace with small. Okay, now save the file and open new terminal. Now let's push the code. We get in it, then get add dot. Then git commit hyphen m and my commit will be custom format variables. Then git push. Okay. System. So let's go to the actions. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's running and it's success. So let's check. So go to the uh, our custom environment.yaml and you can see the status is succeed and time duration is 10 seconds. Okay. So let's open our subscribe my channel. So as you can see on the step, so let's open, please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel. And you can see the sentence that we print here. Please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel. In full stop. Okay. So that's our custom environment variable. Okay. That we have here. Right. And then now the next is default environment variable. So for that, we need to create a separate workflow. If you want to add here in this workflow, then you can add here also to create new job and then add your default variable. But I'm going to create new, new workflow, the name default env. Dot yeah. okay. So in this uh, GitHub action, uh, we have some 
डिफॉल्ट एनवायरमेंट वेरिएबल सो हियर आई मेन सो हियर सम सो आई विल डू कॉपी एंड पेस्ट हियर and let's understand our workflow so first of all you can see the name default environment variable then on tag push and then job and the job name needs default environment variable then runs on latest and steps and here you can see here i mentioned some default environment variables so let's understand one by one first of all github action so github action is written the name of action currently running on the id or a step and github removes special character and uses the name hyphen hyphen run then next is home so as you know the home it, it returns the path of our home then github workspace so it returns the default working directory on the runner for steps and the default location of your repository then github actions it returns always set to the uh, so they set to true when github action is running on the workflow then github upi or oh, sorry api url then it returns the api url for example api colon github.com then github event path so the path to the file on the runner then github job so it returns the job id of the current job then github repository so it returns the owner and repository name that means our owner name is devops int and our repository name is sample workflow so it returns the devops int slash sample workflow then github ssha so it returns the commit ssha that triggered the workflow then runner os that means operating system so it returns the operating system of the runner executing the job for example linux windows and so on okay So now let's save the file and let's push the code. Git init, then git dot, then git commit hyphen m in double quote our commit. Get up or uh, sorry default or uh, environment variables. Then get push. So it's done. Now go to the repository and go to the actions. So as you can see here, uh, this is our default environment variables, right? So let's check. So it's done. You can see the status is success and duration is eleven second. Environment variables. Okay. Now, first of all, GitHub action. As I told you, it's returns hyphen hyphen run. Then it's our Home path, then GitHub workspace, then GitHub action true. That's our API, sorry API URL. Then event path, then job default environment variable job name and our repository name and owner name. DevOps hint slash sample workflow and that SHA and then runner operating system Linux. So that's our repo, uh, sorry default environment variable. So in GitHub action there is a number of the default environment variable so here i use some default environment variables so if you want to check then you can go to the official page and you can check the default environment variables so that's our default environment variables so in this video we have learned some custom environment variables and some default environment variables so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops in channel thank you